You can't do that with the steam. Hello, my name is Shauna and thanks for visiting my channel. Today we're going to talk about the top three pros and cons of the Oshine theme. The Oshine theme by Brand Exponents is by far one of my top 10 go-to themes for photography, videography, <laughs> identity, and other types of visual stories. Oshine currently has over 50 pre-built templates, 26,000 downloads, and by far one of the best premium WordPress themes out there. Even though I love it so much, I hate it at the same time. So let's get into it. Pro number one, amazing template options. I'm a sucker for beauty and Oshine delivers. The Oshine team knows how to combine fonts, pattern alignments, and the CSS animation is perfect. If you really want to impress someone, using one of their themes is a way to go. Pro number two, the what you see is what you get Tatsu Editor. It is a wonderful, responsive, what you see is what you get visual page builder. After the one click installation, you are good to go. Using this visual page builder, I have completed projects within hours. Pro number three, the support team. The support team is top notch, I heard. I haven't really used them yet, but I've heard good things. So if you need help with anything, reach out to them. They'll definitely hook you up. Con number one, not for beginners. If this is your very first WordPress project or a premium theme project, I would not use their theme. If you have had practice with other themes, yeah, sure, try it out. But if this is your very first time, it will require a major learning curve to learn not only just a WordPress platform, but using their editor because there's so many different things going on, so many different interfaces. And if you are not familiar with WordPress in general or are using different types of visual builders, I would steer clear. And but however, if you are very adamant to learn this, once you do get it, it's fairly simple to use, but I would not recommend this for beginners. Con number two, zero flexibility. You can't do shit with this theme. You cannot scale this theme. Customization is limited. I have worked with other themes where I can easily convert a WordPress project into an entire platform. But with Oshine, you cannot. You have to stay within their parameters of customization. It is their rules and only their rules. Con number three, the what you see is what you get tattoo editor. I'm not a hypocrite, but it is still a con. As mentioned earlier, I don't recommend it for beginners. I also stated that it is cluttered with specifications and different types of interactions. However, there is other annoying things about it and I'm gonna show you an example now. Like most page builders, the Tatsu editor has something called inline text. In this box, you can write out whatever you want. It adjusts with the same colored font, line height. However, if I'm writing a large paragraph, I usually write it out on Google Docs or Microsoft Word first, and then I copy and paste it in the box here. However, when I copy and paste it, the font is not the same as the original inline text. So I usually have to do two things. I either have to remember the font, the coloring, line height, or I have to sit there and type out the entire paragraph, which is completely annoying. This is the one thing I hate about the inline text and one of the things I really hate about the Tatsu editor. If you want to use Oshine or have used Oshine, let me know about your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you need help with your Oshine theme or have any questions or concerns, reach out to me. I'll definitely be able to hook you up.